May 1918. Private Henry Johnson and Private Needham Roberts sit in a hole in the ground in the Argonne Forest, France. They are charged with keeping watch over the main supply bridge for the region. It was vital to the war effort that the bridge did not succumb to enemy sabotage. In the early hours of May 15th, Johnson heard wire cutters clipping through the barbed wire fences. He lined up grenades to defend the outpost. Enemy rifles began firing from all around. Johnson grabbed a grenade, pulled the pin and threw it. The soldiers peered over the top of their trench to see if they could spot the enemy. Dozens of black shadows appeared near the perimeter fence. A German voice shouted and a horde of soldiers flooded through the cut wires toward Johnson and Roberts. The enemy soldiers lowered their rifles, bayonets pointed straight toward the two Hellfighters. Johnson picked up his rifle and began firing into an oncoming wave of enemy soldiers. The Germans unleashed a volley of bullets towards Johnson and Roberts as they charged the position. In the chaos, Johnson yelled for Roberts to go get help, but before he could, Roberts took pieces of shrapnel from a grenade in his arm and hip. Incapacitated, but still conscious, Johnson knew he needed to protect Roberts and the outpost. He was the only thing standing between the Germans and the French front lines, a one-man army. As Johnson continued to throw grenades, Roberts kept handing the explosives to Johnson in an attempt to help his partner in any way he could. But then there were no more grenades. Armed with just his rifle and knife, Johnson began firing at the Germans, slowing their advance. Grabbing his rifle by the barrel, he used the butt of his gun as a club. Johnson swung his rifle relentlessly, smashing it into heads and faces of the German soldiers as they tried to overtake him. A German soldier rammed the stock of his own gun into Johnson's head, but Johnson refused to give up. He reached down to his side and drew his bolo knife. It was him versus the entire German squad. The German soldiers continued to strike and fire at him, but nothing seemed to slow him down. The enemy grabbed Roberts and was pulling him back towards the forest. Johnson would not let them take his brother in arms. If the Germans wanted to take Roberts, they were going to have to go through him. The battle between the Germans and the one-man army that came to be known as the Black Death continued for almost an hour. Johnson saw an opportunity to kill a lieutenant, which may have caused the Germans to go into full retreat. He ran towards the enemy, slashing his way past soldiers using his bolo knife. He then continued fighting through the German line until he was able to kill the lieutenant. Finally, support arrived. French and American soldiers ran to the aid of Johnson. Seeing the force, the German soldiers went into full retreat. The battle was over. The one-man army of Henry Johnson had won. The next day, as the sun rose on Outpost 20, Military officials could not believe what they found. Pools of blood soaked the earth. German helmets and discarded weapons littered the battlefield. Four bodies were left behind, but due to the amount of blood and German equipment on the ground, officials estimated that Johnson had wounded 10 to 20 other Germans. Johnson had single-handedly prevented an entire German force from advancing through the French line, while taking 21 wounds of his own. Before he left the front lines, the French awarded him the Croix de Guerre, one of France's highest military awards. Johnson and Roberts were the first two Americans to ever receive this award. Henry Johnson was declared one of the bravest Americans to fight in World War I by President Theodore Roosevelt. In 1996, he was posthumously awarded the Purple Heart. In 2003, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. Then, in 2015, he was awarded the Medal of Honor.